The stages of meiosis are summarized on the board right behind me. Now remember, meiosis starts with one diploid parent cell and ends with four haploid daughter cells, and this is achieved in two cell divisions, meiosis I and meiosis II. Meiosis I shown on this side, meiosis II shown on that side. Now each one is going to have its prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. So, Prophase 1, of course you have the usual prophase events, but something else happens here, a, a, a phenomenon known as crossing over. Homologous chromosome pairs will come in close contact with each other and swap pieces. So here we can see the, uh, the large homologous pair shows a crossover event right here, where part of the blue one takes on a piece of the red one and vice versa. So this homologous pair had a crossover and I drew this one not having a crossover. Now with metaphase 1, it's different from mitosis because this time they're lining up in homologous pairs. And in anaphase 1, it's the homologous pairs that get separated and therefore after telophase 1, we've got two cells which are now haploid. So meiosis 1 is the division that goes from diploid to haploid. But by the time we finish here, there's some unfinished business. We still have two sister chromatids per chromosome, and that gets taken care of in meiosis II. So here we go with prophase II, nothing new to tell you there. Metaphase II, they're going to line up singly, just like they did in mitosis. Anaphase II is also like mitosis. The centromere splits, the sister chromatids are separated. And finally, after telophase II, we've got four total daughter cells, and you'll notice that none of them are identical to each other, which again is part of the plan here.